Rachel Notley slipped by last time. People looked at her and said, well, she doesn't look that bad. Abacus Research said 91% of Albertans voted for Rachel Notley last time just because they wanted a change. Well, will Albertans be fooled again? Or has the mass unemployment, the carbon tax, the war on schools, and the lack of pipelines made that charm rather hollow? Joining us now to talk about it is our friend Sheila Gunn-Reed. Sheila, great to see you again. Hey, Ezra, thanks for having me on. You know what? Rachel Notley comes across as a nice lady. And I think that goes a long way in politics. It almost got Beto O'Rourke elected uh, the senator for Texas. Um, will it be enough for Rachel Notley in 2019, or is it just things too far gone? Um, I think Rachel Notley's a great actor. I don't think she's a very nice lady, and I think the veil has slipped a few too many times for Albertans to be to be fooled. Um, coming into this election campaign. I don't think any amount of smear campaign on behalf of the NDP and their collaborators in the mainstream media are going to convince Albertans to vote for more carbon taxes, um, more attacks on Christian education, and fewer jobs. You know, I, I immediately accept your correction there, because even in her, I mean, I just watched that again, and I thought, boy, that she came across nicely there. But she quickly descended into mud throwing, Jason Kenney is a liar. I, I mean, she mm -hmm. can be brutal, and of course, her delegates are even more brutal, and of course, their surrogates are even more brutal. I'm talking about the public sector union funded front groups in Alberta. I, I take your correction, Sheila. She's a polished a politician and she comes by it naturally. She, she was the daughter of Grant Notley, a lifelong career politician. So she's learned the craft of public acting. She's learned how to fake sincerity very well. Um, I think you're right. I think she's actually governed quite brutally despite her friendly facade. It's very hard for Albertans to forget just how much she's attacked normal Albertans and how much she's allowed her high profile cabinet ministers to attack Albertans. Just very recently, we ran our Fire Phillips billboard um, on the high on the side of Highway 2. It's still there. It's big. It's beautiful. And it's bold. And we ran that campaign because Shannon Phillips, the environment minister, lied on several occasions about how violent and how threatening Albertans are in small towns who are opposing her plans to turn their backyard into a provincial park that they can't really use anymore. Albertans have not forgotten how the deputy premier and the health minister called them all a bunch of sewer rats. And Rachel Motley didn't have much to say in defense of normal Albertans. Neither one of those two cabinet ministers faced any sort of real reprimand. They're still cabinet ministers. So while Rachel Notley has crinkly eyes and a nice smile, um, it's just a polished veneer. I accept that. And of course, you have been the recipient of the brunt of her mm -hmm. rage. I remember when you simply wanted to attend the legislature a few years back, she dispatched an armed sheriff. <laughs> so, you know, the yeah. friendly school mom look, uh, it, the mask quickly falls, the veil drops, as you say, um, when she's feeling uh, a bit of rage. That's an excerpt from the Ezra Levant Show. Every day, I do a video monologue, and then I interview an interesting guest, and then I end by reading my hate mail. But you've got to subscribe to it, which you can do at therebel.media slash shows.